Okay, joining us on this Monday morning, Liz McDonald, Scott Shelley, and Jeff Seeker. I'm not going to call him, I'll just call him a bear, not a perma bear. He gets Thank upset, you. but I just did. No big reaction in stocks though right now. Jeff, uh, investors seem to be shrugging off the events of what we've seen in New York and New Jersey with regard to terror. Well, one thing, Ashley, is this market, the motto of this market is and will continue to be for the indefinite future, ignorance is bliss. So as <laughs> ominous as this, <laughs> this event is and the, and the yes. potential of more terrorism, which, which undermines the stability of the market, this market has chosen to ignore everything except the Fed. So anything that comes out of the blue, if it doesn't involve interest rates going up or some mm -hmm. initiative of the Fed, the market continues to move forward. Scott, let me bring you in. Um, there's always a lot of uh, bliss and ignorance. Would you not agree? And to Jeff's point, you know, they're all focused on the <laughs> Fed, on the market. Well, I 100% agree <laughs> with Jeff. Number two is, a, here's the problem. I mean, shame on me for <laughs> waiting to listen to what the Fed's going to say when they started off the year with four interest rate hikes in, in, the, in the cards. So, that's what's starting to really get frustrating. So, yeah, I mean, this is ominous. I agree with Jeff. There are some, a lot of dangerous things out there, but we're going to shrug off everything <laughs> waiting for a group of people that can't seem to get their act together, and that's the danger. That's the real danger. It certainly is. Uh, that's right. I forget four rate hikes this year. Forget about it. Certainly, we're not <laughs> expecting one in September, maybe December. We shall see. Let's take a look at Apple shares. We like to take a look at Apple every day, holding its gains after reports of strong sales for the iPhone 7. And, of course, let us not forget uh, all of Samsung's bad press and uh, what's been going on with the Galaxy Note 7. Jeff, uh, Apple at 115 nearly 116 bucks. Do you buy it here? No, absolutely not. And they got a very sure good break. Sure you don't want to think break. about it? They, they got, no, I don't want to think about it at all. <laughs> they got a very good break from Samsung. Samsung yep. imploded, literally, and Apple has taken advantage of that. Their numbers are impressive. But here's what we have to understand about Apple. Mm -hmm. Apple, as goes the iPhone, so goes Apple. No innovation. Continuing to roll out new versions of old products is not going to bring Apple to Do you to buy it, it on a be. dip? And if you do, how low does it have to go before I would, you might jump in? I would say that if we start to see Apple at the 92 or below, Oof. which is a long way off, yeah. to me it's more fairly valued at that price. But with no innovation, you're not talking about a company that could generate this yeah. type of revenue growth to support these prices. One trick pony, as they say. All right, let's take a look at gas. Uh, right now, $2.20. That is the national average on regular. But the big news, down south, where they are bracing for a big spike in gas prices. Yeah, now, now we're tracking, it uh, looks like six states have declared a state of emergency in the state southeast. State of emergency. Yeah, we're talking Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, uh, Tennessee, and Virginia. So they're saying, look, we're facing gas shortages here. And the gas is spiking anywhere from 10 cents to 15 cents higher. As much as 20 cents we're also seeing. Uh, so they're hoping this will be short-lived. Mm -hmm. Ashley, this uh, pipeline leak that uh, started, uh, it's a pipeline that goes from Texas to New York. 15 million people All served daily by We're going to be paying more up here, possibly? possibly but the good news is it's gas was 350 in 2014. Right. It's trending at 220, right, mm -hmm. a gallon? So Stu may not come that. back if the gas prices yeah, go right. over here. Anyway, let's take a look at the big Ford for you. Uh, the Dow up 77 points at this hour. There you go, up 80 points. Pretty much where the future said we would be. Uh, really, the market waiting to see what the Fed says. I hate to say that, but they will meet, stop meeting tomorrow, come out with some sort of rhetoric on Wednesday, and then we'll all wait and see and be amazed with their wisdom. Uh, GM workers, that was sarcasm, GM workers in Canada <laughs> will strike if the Monday deadline for a new contract is missed. That will threaten to disrupt the supply of engines that go into GM's sport utility vehicles. Meanwhile, Wells Fargo CEO John Stumpf will be in the hot seat in front of the Senate Banking Committee tomorrow to answer questions about that phony accounts scandal. Dick Beauvais says it's a victimless crime. We shall talk to Dick in a minute. Upgrade, by the way, for Mattel shares. One investment firm says buy it. Nicole joins us from the...